What's up, everybody? What's going on? I'm your boy, Torian. You know where we at, man, where we always at. Space Bar Recording Studios. And today, I get in this personal space, the personal space, my man, K. Fetty. K. Fetty, what's going on? What's good? I got the Brooklyn kid in here, man. Brooklyn, I know 90s, where you're from. Yeah. Let, the, let the fans know where you're from. Let your fans know where you're from, man. Brooklyn, Brooklyn New York, 90s. 94th and Rutland, to be exact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. them more about you. Um, I mean, I'm young. I'm 17. I just... I feel like I got a place in this industry, a big place, and I could put a, a whole new. I could I could just introduce the industry industry to a whole different level. That's right. I, I love your energy. When I hear all of you, I, I hear that energy. I hear that. I hear that hunger. I hear that hunger. And with that song just being so new, I could tell there's more in you that wants to come out for you. Some of your influences you told me off camera, Bobby Smurda. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to him and you know and their gang, what they doing. Now that they're not now that they're on taking a little hiatus with everything he's doing, you bring them from that from same neighborhood, right? Yeah. Okay. That lane opened up for you. Exactly. You ready to step up? Of course. I saw it as an opportunity because shout out to GS9, Bobby Schmurda, Rowdy, Rowdy, Fetty, and everybody. But um, I really, I really grew up around Rowdy and Fetty, and I saw their struggles. I saw where they came from, and to get where they at now. Well, before they was incarcerated, when they were so big and all that, and then after they got incarcerated, it's really, it's really sad because they really came from nothing. They came up, they got a little bit shine, and now they're behind bars. And they just like, how do you, how do you plan on keeping yourself up? Oh, I'm, I'm positive, man. I just, I learn from other people's mistakes without making the same mistakes. And that's 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 key. You saying that that shows a lot of maturity for you being 17, right? Yeah. For you being 17, that shows a lot of maturity because. A lot of people, when they say they following somebody, when they say that's they look up to, they usually tend to walk in the same path and end up doing the same thing because you know they get they see them lights, that money, that flash. So your motivation, as you said, is positive, right? How do you put that into your music? Put it in my music because I talk about everything I go through. Um, I just I put it through my music in so many different ways, like school, just like the stuff I go through. How's school now, though? How's school? School is great. I actually got a scholarship <laughs> to Barry University hey. for ten thousand five hundred a year, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? Young black brothers, not only doing music, but well, getting an education, a scholarship, man. Shout out to graduate. I'm telling you, that. I did a college thing, graduated, about to work with my master's. I, I encourage you to continue to get your education, continue to push forward, and let your education show into your rap because sometimes. We get smarter, but our rap gets dumbed down. How do you plan on? You said, like you said, you versatile. I know you versatile. How you gonna use that? The you know what I'm saying? How you gonna use that motivation, that college lane, that you know that education you about to get? How is that going? How you gonna throw that into you? You gonna switch it up? Yeah, of course, my vocabulary is gonna be above standard. There you go. Um, yes, wordplay is gonna be ridiculous. Very ridiculous. And it's just like, I won't use. I say, like, my, my words won't be basic. Everything's gonna be actually gonna have to pull. Like, what did you just say? What does that mean? You get what I'm saying? Rewind it, bring it back. Let me go search that up real quick. Okay. Like okay, man, I'm very proud of you doing that, man. That's what's up. Tell me about the joint. All for you, though. Tell me about how that come on. Oh, my offer? Yeah, all for you. All for you. I'm talking oh, about the song. All for you. Yeah, tell me about that. We was in the studio and. I really wish I could sing. Like, my cousin, the last <laughs> Phoenix, he could sing, like, really sing. He do so, put his vocals on it. Make sure y'all check it out. Exactly. <laughs> check it out. Both of you. But yeah, he could sing. And I was just stuck on that. That was bang, bang, gang, gang. And I always wanted to switch it up, do something for the ladies. I never did nothing for the ladies. But, um, so I just got in the booth, laid down some verse, and it came pretty well. It came real well, man. You hear that whole Bryson Teller, I almost called him. I showed it, like, yo, <laughs> I got something. Then I do it all for you, bro. I'm going to do it all for you. I like that, man. So when you when you when you uh, start working on your mix, you will be working on that soon. Any of that? Soon, yeah. Underrated. That's what's called. Cool. Okay. Any shows coming up? Um, I actually have one year. It's the '90s showcase. Okay. When is that? Put that out there. Two more months. Okay. It should be like I think April 14th. All right. So you got the scholarship, right? Yeah. What you going to do, man? Business. Yeah. Business. So you gotta learn. That's one thing. As a young guy, I encourage you learn the business, mm -hmm. learn the game. Because we get the music part. I already know you can rap. But the business is where a lot of young people get lost at. Exactly. So learn that. And I encourage you to. Hey, listen. Before you go, though, I need you to get up in that booth. Can we do that? Cool. All right. Tell your fans where they can find you at, man. Give me find me K-Fetty. Twitter, K-Fetty2. Instagram, K-Fetty. Everywhere, K-Fetty. K-F-E-D-E-Y.
Make sure y'all find them, man. Listen, this is Personal Space. That's K Fetty. I'm your boy Big T. And we at Space Bar Recording Studios. We out of here. Deuces. Hard times with a payoff, and I seen the money was on the radar. But these red dots got me creeping with an AR. They all died of a because they stay hating. Be something new from old scratch, so I'm renovating. My fan waiting for me to blow, and they kind of patient. I know it's hurting, but wait, grandma, we gon' make it. They don't know the sacrifices that I made. I'd rather re up and go and cop the new jets. And all that shit that's on my mind got me in the gas. But I'ma still get this money either way. They don't know the sacrifices that I made. I'd rather re up and go and cop the new jets. And all that shit that's on my mind got me in the gas. But I'ma still get this money either way. I saw that I conquered the city of rap. Right? Yeah. What y'all selling? My team got the track. What? Slimes in the spot and they all got the strap. This plotting, but we never lack. Nah. We never lack. We never lack. We never lack. Got my blood selling O's and it's gone like black. If you fuck with the looks, you gon' get that track. <laughs> Young nigga, that's really about it. Everybody dying, got me thinking I'm gonna live black. Took my nigga Moolah, he ain't did nothing but write songs.